13th lecture of our subject DSS design of steel structure so students in the last lecture we will discuss about our last topic of chapter number 7 which is plastic design in which we are discussing about when the horizontal force and UDL is acting on portal frame okay so now we are moving further to our new chapter which is foot over bridge okay so first question is what is foot over bridge so you all know that whenever on a busy street like railway station so whenever we have to transfer from one platform to another platform we are using foot over bridge okay so now you can see that what is the function of foot over bridge so the function of foot over bridge is to transfer from one place to another place with the help of only pedestrian okay no any move no any movement of vehicle is allowed on foot over bridge okay because the word specified that foot over bridge okay in which only pedestrians are allowed okay so now you can see that this foot over bridge are made up of steel structures okay recent foot over bridge is designed on a river front okay so you all know that whenever you have to transfer from one end to another end you can use foot over bridge from the next few months okay so now what is the functions of foot over bridge and which are the components we will use in the design of foot over bridge so now you can see that the truss gutter bridge are used as the main load carrying members in the truss gutter bridge okay so students this foot over bridge is made up of steel structure and this made up of steel structure is designed as a truss because and you all know that whenever you have to study your mechanics of solid okay in which you can see that there are number of types of truss arrangement okay so this number of types of arrangement of truss will be discussed later in this lecture now you can see that this truss gutter bridge is also called as open wave gutter bridge or it is also called as lattice gutter bridge okay now this foot over bridge is made up when the lattice gutters are more than 30 okay so students you all know that there are number of types of foot over bridge based on their structure so you can see that there is one structure this type of structure is called as trade type of structure in which there are number of components in there okay so there are four main components in this figure okay so first of all you can see that this is upper member of this truss gutter bridge so the uppermost member of the lattice gutter bridge is called as top coat you can see that this is called top coat now bottom this is bottom most portion on which your rcc you can see that this is your rcc roofing okay is resting is called as bottom coat now this is your vertical member and this is your diagonal member okay so in n type of lattice gutter bridge and pred type of lattice gutter bridge there are four main members first one is top coat second one is bottom coat third one is vertical member and last one is diagonal member okay now whenever you have to design your top coat vertical member and diagonal member there will be junction okay and all this member is connected with the help of bolting welding or riveting okay now this junction point is called as panel point so you can see that the point of intersection of main members are called as panel points so you can see that 
in this figure this is your panel point okay so now this is the basic members of your foot over bridge now we are moving further to our next theory which is the components of foot over bridge so you can see that there is one figure in which there are number of components so you can see that your top code member it is already discussed that this is your top code this is your bottom code member okay now you can see that this is your diagonal members okay and this diagonal member is also you can see that on the top of the portion and also at the bottom of the portion okay and this top and bottom portion is called as a lateral bracing so you can see that this is your top lateral bracing and this is your bottom lateral bracing is design as x okay and this is your vertical member now your bottom code is supported with some horizontal members and these horizontal members called as cross beam so you can see that cross beam is also called as floor beam now there are number of floor beams are there okay so now if you have to design your first and last floor beams then it is called as end floor beam and other floor beam are considered as your intermediate floor beams okay so now you can see that in this figure this is your top lateral bracing similarly this system is also connected at the bottom and it is called as bottom lateral bracing this is your top core this is your bottom core okay now this is the most important components of your foot over bridge okay now basically there are three types of foot over bridge in which first type is deck type of foot over bridge so you can see that there is three types of foot over bridge so what is the difference so you can see that this is floor system okay on which you have to pedestrian so you can see that this is the floor system and this floor system is connected with the top code because the topmost portion of the foot over bridge is considered as your top code okay so when the foot floor system is raised on the top code then this type of foot over bridge is called as deck type of foot over bridge now generally this type of foot over bridge is constructed on hilly region when the basement foundation and all the things are not compulsory and not any necessary okay now this is your through type of foot over bridge so you can see that this is your floor system okay dark line is your floor system so the floor system rest on bottom code so this is called through type of foot over bridge now in semi through type of foot over bridge your floor system is resting on the middle support okay not either on the top code and on or on the bottom code so basically this is the main three type of truss gutter bridge now you can see that there are number of types of trusses and which is already studied in your basic subjects earlier okay so you can see that this type of bridge is also constructed and this type of truss gutter bridge is called as parabolic truss this is your warren type of truss and it is already discussed in our introductory session that there are two types of main examples in your books first one is n type of lattice gutter bridge in which your truss is in the n shape okay and the second one is this is warren type and you can see that warren type of truss is also called as w type because you can see that this is w okay so in your atul prakashan book there are two types of truss gutter bridges first one is n type of lattice gutter and second one is w type of lattice gutter but sometimes in gtu 
another type like prayed type is also asked okay so now what is the difference between n w prayed and also will be discussed later in this chapter now you can see that this is your four type of truss okay so this is the basic structure this is your prayed type of structure and this is already discussed in this figure with the 3d view okay next is triple vipper truss in which you can see that your diagonal member is three diagonal members are connected so it means this is called a triple vipper truss okay in which you can see that diagonals are under tension they cross two neighboring verticals rather than connecting it to the plate okay now this is the most important but not in your syllabus this is k type of truss so you can see that the truss arrangement is in the shape of k type and the load distribution of this k type truss girder is shown in this figure now this is the most important theory which is asked in 2 marks or 3 marks which are the applications of foot over bridge applications means at where these foot over bridges are used so you can see that and you all know and you are aware about this at the railway station to change the platform second one is over busy street to cross the roads third one is connecting two building towers at higher levels fourth one is to cross stream of moderate width and at last it is skywalk in metro cities okay so these five are the basic applications of foot over bridge now we are moving further to the example based view because in this chapter there is only one or two theories which is asked in your gtu okay mostly from this chapter only examples are asked in your gtu point of view so now we are moving further to the first of all step of designing lattice gutter bridge okay so first of all we are discussing about n type of lattice gutter bridge in which there is total 14 steps okay and you all know that in n type of lattice gutter bridge there are four main members top coat bottom coat vertical members and diagonal members okay so now your first step is to fix the geometry of lattice gutter it means the basic dimension of all the members because it is a trial and error method okay now second step is to design of cross beam so this bottom portion is called as your cross beam okay so these are end cross beam or it is called as floor beam and these all are intermediate cross beam after designing any member you have to check two value whether it is checked for moment capacity and second one is check for shear capacity okay so after designing cross beam you have to check this component is pass or fail in your moment capacity and or in shear capacity okay fifth is load on lattice gutter it means from fifth step now we are designing our main components okay after that our sixth step is to analyze of the lattice it means what is the load distribution diagram of our main lattice gutters and after that we are moving further to the calculation of all the main members like top core so you can see that your step number 7 is forces on top core your step number 8 is design of top core step number 9 is forces on bottom core step number 10 is design of bottom core step number 11 is forces on vertical member and its design after that we are discussing about our last member 
which is the diagonal member and its design and after designing all the main components main function is to joint all the junctions okay so last step and your step number 15 is design of joints okay so students this is the end of your today's session in the next lecture we are moving further to our example number one which is the design of n type of lattice gutter so you can see that this is n type of lattice gutter okay so thank you for today's session